Okay, so the plan today is to do a, a test of a new destratification pump. Um, this pump has been running for four years now. Uh, at least that's, this particular one hasn't, but the previous one has, and that was identical. But um, this little Chinese pond pump, essentially, uh, 12 volts, has been running um, destratifying the hot water cylinder which is over here. Um, so yes, yeah, driven by my little Arduino controller and uh, runs on a pulse, pulse modulation signal. So it's, um, the speed is varied depending on how, uh, how much detratification needs to take place. Anyway, there's a concern over these pumps in this, well, they've never actually had any problem, but the concern is that there's just a plastic pump body. Um, so if it fails, then you could have a catastrophic a water leak. Um, so it'd be nice to maybe have a more robust pump. Also, it doesn't have the power to de-stratify the, the cylinder fully when it's um, getting near to full, fully hot. Uh, it, it can maintain about a nine degree temperature difference between top and bottom with the top running at some 60 or so centigrade. It's impossible to get the bottom any uh, further up than about 51 degrees. So as a suggestion at least of trying a more robust and more powerful pump to replace this one. Um, this of course incidentally is just a shower pump so that's not in the equation today but uh, this little D-strap pump is and obviously this is the central heating pump so uh, yeah we'll see how we go. The plan is to swap <coughs> So this is the alternative I'm going to try today. It's got a brass pump body and generally more robust and certainly much more powerful. Uh, the little one is rated at something like three or four litres a minute. Um, this one is something like 12, so it should be significantly better. So I'm just going to lash it up for the time being. I've changed the code in the Arduino controller so that this output to the pump is no longer pulse width modulated. It's just either on or off. So I should have 12 volts on the uh, the connector there that feeds the existing pump. So I use that with the new one as a temporary arrangement at least, just to drive a 12 volt relay um, that will switch on and off the mains pump. So it should be pretty straightforward. We'll see how we go. Okay, that's a new pump connected uh, in a temporary fashion, at least. It's uh, just resting on an old storage container for now, but it's plumbed into the hot inlet and feeding to the cold side of the, the hot water cylinder. Um, the relay that will turn it on and off is connected to the, the same 12 volt supply that the, the old pump was connected to. You can see that they're now disconnected. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Of course, uh, Sod's Law would have it. It's not a very sunny day today, so it's going to take a while to get up to temperature and start to need that de stratifying. But we'll wait and wait for that and see how it goes. <clears throat> okay, so it's now about midday. The sun's come out slightly more, it's still a bit hazy, but we're peating up at nearly two kilowatts, just over two kilowatts and uh, 59.25 degrees at the top. So the, the pump should come on at 60 degrees. So fingers crossed. So as I say, the pump is, is waiting, ready to go. It's got a switch on the back, which um, turns out on position one, it is just uh, comes on continuously as long as there's power supplied. On position two, it uh, uses the water sensor, which I've got disconnected, but this little flow sensor uh, is plugged into there normally. I'm not proposing to use it at all in this application, but um, when that is connected, then position two means that power is available, but it will only turn on when there's flow detected through the, the sensor. So I'll leave it on position one for this application. Okay, so we're now just over 60, 60.1 or 2. 
So it should come on shortly. Well, what do you know? Pumps just come on. See what it's doing to the uh, temperatures. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, temperatures are shifting. Yep, T top, 60 degrees is coming down, 60.25 or so. The bottom is still at 19, which uh, is interesting. Yeah, top temperature is, there you go, bumper stopped. Top temperature is now 59.8 or so. And the bottom temperature is coming up, 20 and a half. Good. So the software has a timer in it, oh, so I forget exactly how long it is. But it'll back off now. And the pump won't come on again until so many minutes have elapsed or the, uh, the top temperature gets back up to 60.